My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to Slay the Spire Downfall. We're going to be continuing with the Guardian on Ascension 10, hopefully unlocking our Ascension 11, giving us the ability to start climbing from there. Lose all souls in order to choose a rare card. You best believe I'm going to do that. Compile package, eh? Hmm. Spheric Shield, Harden, Floating Orbs, Time Bomb, the Spike Repulsor, Century Blast, Century Wave, Ancient Attack, Ancient Power, Ancient Construct. Those are going to be a lot worse. Uh, and the Hyper Beam as well. Hmm. Gain two buffer. If at the start of the turn you have a buffer, gain a strength. Upgrades to remove its ethereality. Obviously, there's also the Stasis Engine here. Giving us the ability whenever we play the third zero cost card in a single turn, gain an energy and draw a card. That's really good, but there are fewer gems that work with it now, or rather the gems that work with it now are more... Uh, I was about to say more expensive, more rare. They are rarer. Rarer, rarer, rarer. Rar, rar, rar. hmm. This is probably the most power initially presented. Okay. So I want to go down this path at the very end our two elites two rests it's a relatively early shop i don't know if i want to go to a shop that early sure let's avoid it take the early upgrade the cards the package upgrade will all be upgraded they're not cost reduced anymore is that what it is um, yeah this one's really rough Need so much energy to be able to play all those stuff out. Ooh. Yeah, that got a lot worse. Without giving them all the, the lower costing, you do basically just have to wait for the next cycle before you can utilize most of them. Unless you're taking the sentries. In which case, it doesn't really make a difference. Tourmaline, Walker Claw, Piercing Hide. I mean, I could take a Piercing Hide. Probably ought. Remove a card, gain a random gem. Sure, let's get a strike out of here. Onyx! Add a gem to a socket, yeah. Pop that in there. We get three thorns every single time we play that card. Baby! Yes, please! Oh, I'll take that happily. <laughs> All right, now we're off to a good start here. Uh, same three options this time. Let's get the Ancient Power. And then put the Twin Strike, I guess, up into Stasis. Ancient Power giving us a Dex. The Dex giving us the ability to defend with a single defend on that turn. Like, Compile was definitely... Uh, <laughs> extremely powerful before. I, there's no bones about that. And it definitely needed something like this. Uh, we've, we've seen in the past in this series how effective it can be if you focus on it to the exclusion of all else. But that doesn't mean I don't get to whine about it. Let me whine. Uh, recover. Another brace three. Another little bit of extra defense there. Incinerate, accelerate. I like some accelerate here. Let's take a single incinerate. Just to start out with here. 12 incoming, 14 incoming. Okay, we'll defend again. I'll be keeping those thorns, thank you. Package Bronze and the Hyper Beam. Yeah, okay, we still can do this, right? The Hyper Beam still comes out 40 damage in AoE. That's still really good. Ancient Power, Shield Charger, as well as Orb Walk. It feels like we should focus on defense. Take an Ancient Power there. Remove three cards and get a curse at random. So we could two cards down by taking that. Do I actually... Let's get cursed as hell. Took an injury, removed all three strikes from the deck. Wipe me statue, potions repair. 
Oh, it's a combat wards or as a combat ward rather. Uh, this rest down here would be to upgrade piercing hide, right? Yeah, it's a pretty significant difference. The ancient power is also pretty significant as well. So we'd like to get both of those upgraded before we leave if we have the possibility of doing so. Compile package. We can find any defense in here. Uh, brace 10 from the spiker protocol is good, but it's not it. It could be with the ancient power. Ah! <laughs> I took a huge gamble there and I really, really shouldn't have. I got what I deserved. Alright. Hopefully what I deserve doesn't end up killing us. Polishing oil, as well as another prismatic hide. Okay. Take the upgrade to the first one, getting more temporary thorns. That shouldn't be temporary. Ooh, compile package finds. Shape. So I could get spiker and repulsor. I could get spiker and time bomb. Floating orbs is also not bad. Orb walk is probably the least powerful here. I'll take the shapes. The spiker protocol and the time bomb out there. So it's solid 30 damage just up there. Ooh, this is this is really good tech as well. I'll play this for the temporary thorns first, and then this more temporary thorns in the artifact, and then I will have the uh, I mean I can even attack the enemy, it doesn't matter. Um and then it will prevent all loss of the full stack of temporary thorns there. Doesn't matter if I incinerate this turn or not. In fact, ideally, I want to do it next turn so I do no damage to the enemy's uh, casing here. I'd love to play the Ancient Power. I gotta play the defense, though. That's great. Get into the defensive mode, keep even more thorns. We've got 22 thorns at all times now. I hope this helps demonstrate why I desperately wanted to go for this. Uh, piercing high, piercing high defense. That braces for three, so we still have to play it. Nice. Giant amount of defense. The enemy hits me and dies. Enemies that don't hit us are going to be <laughs> pretty rough. Uh, don't think I take a speed boost. I've already taken some accelerate, but I also don't really have a plan to utilize that much accelerate. I barely have a plan to utilize the accelerate that I'm putting in now. Speaking of... Sentry Blah! Steal 7 damage, place a Sentry Wave Plus into Stasis, and then these two apply 1 weak, brace 2, place a Sentry Wave Plus into Stasis. So these are really good. They lock me out of using all of my slots there, and actually they're really, really good with Accelerate because of that. Uh, but they're also low cost, so I get the ability to do all this. The leaving myself open to utilizing these consistently is one of the reasons that I'm not going to want to do too many stasis things if I can avoid it. Um, let's weaken you, accelerate that back out, and then damage, and then damage, and then damage again. Here's a hide and defend. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Keep the enemy weak as hell as well, which matters when I'm trying to defend as a core gameplay strategy. 
charge up. No planning. No prismatic barrier. Yes. Although now I have to find a bunch of gems to actually justify it. But also, previously, I would have had to... Uh, I, I would have wanted to already have a card in deck that takes the gems before I take the gems, so... Yeah. Chicken, egg, etc. There have to be some in the deck by base. Um, okay, any of these that have any source of brace are good enough. We'll take the patch of, uh, pack of shapes for that reason, so we can spike a protocol and then curl up. Actually getting enough defense for this turn too. Do I throw out a repulsor so that it can get... Yeah, sure. It gets two cards out of the deck, itself and the... Whoop. Two. Nice. Uh, gets two cards out of the deck, itself and the injury. Making our cycles a lot better. Not the best play we have there. Or rather, is the best play we have there. Not the best turn ever, though. Defend, defend, and pass. Okay. Par Potion Emerald. Do I put that in a prismatic barrier? Like, I probably take it and put it in twin slam if nothing else. We give ourselves thorns more easily than we give ourselves powers. We'll enhance, pop that into the twin slam. So we don't put it into the prismatic barrier because obviously you want to gain the decks before you play prismatic barrier rather than uh, play prismatic barrier and then gain the decks. Let's also hit the smith, and there's just a lot of these that really want to upgrade. We'll take the ancient power. Too often takes up our whole turn right now. This is going to be a rough fight. I actually may want to fish for a power potion here. Stasis engine. I will take spider spiker protocol. So we'll get into defensive mode at the start of the next turn. Uh, I, I don't have a huge amount of damage in this deck, so I really have to find ways to suddenly get it here. Uh, twin slam into ancient power. Stasis slots. It's not really going to matter at all, but it gets an extra point of dex. The absolute least. Our package. Do I really throw out the bronze? Skip our next turn? Is that really what I want to do right now? I can't play all the skills in Sentry Wave, so I guess so. Yep. Ow. Also, ow again. I was really hoping it was going to still draw my hand there so that I wouldn't have to deal with this hand of cards. That should, clearly just should have been in the opposite order there. Wow. We've gotten two more decks out of it. Uh, Tungsten Rod, when we lose HP, lose one less. As well as a Ruby, Incinerate, Crystal Ray. No thank you on those. Compile package is definitely going out this turn. Sentries, thank you. Sentries make it so easy. Especially with the incinerator already in hand. And they come back and they give us a bunch of uh, brace as well. It's just, it's great. Stasis engine. We'll use that and then use three senses, uh, sentry blasts. Hey, getting the energy to play an event. <laughs> nice. Call this potion. Fragmented gem, definitely. The crystal shiv, surely happy to have that. 
makes future stasis engines a lot better. Stasis engines are already pretty good with the compile package. We played two of them at the very start with that. Speaking thereof. Uh, if you start turn without artifact, gain an artifact. That's pretty good. Let's actually just get that really early. Then do I want to gain thorns or temporary decks? Dex. Why well, I say temporary decks? Dex. Just dex. Nothing temporary about it there. We're gonna hell of a lot of block for this turn. We better hope the Ancient Attack and Ancient Power really have something good in them. That's good. I rely on this enemy hitting me, which is making me pretty nervous. I'm going to enter the defensive mode here, use Twin Slam, just to gain another point of dex. Trying to just grow to the point that no matter what the enemy does here, I'm fine. For someone focusing almost exclusively on it, we have a surprisingly small amount of uh, thorns right now. Go cop those. At pretty much all times, it feels like the enemy is just about to suddenly end me. It's volatile, it'll blow up anyway, so I don't need to use the incinerate myself. Creating the whole base deck is definitely worth it here still. Uh, yeah, nine block for each nothing that I have right now. Mm, enemies finally in wrath as well. Love it. Narrator, he did not love it. Why must I vulnerable? Why must I be... Vulnerable. Uh, incinerates no damage here either, so just another defend. Piercing hide into another piercing hide. And sure, curl up. Why not? We need to start getting closer. It's another onyx. My god. Just put that in the other piercing hide. That's a pretty good yes. Thank you. Neko, I can't do that. Not with the compile package and the uh, two piercing hides in the deck that are like extremely core. Hmm. Do I just remove more cards from the deck? Try and thin the deck down to just those two piercing hides. Keep playing them until I win. That doesn't seem like a good plan is the thing, but it also seems like the one we're gonna do. And I don't like it. Uh, I actually need to keep the defense more in the deck than I need to keep the incinerate. Just wish I hadn't taken that incinerate in the first place. Then I'd have another remove in here. Uh, max Elite Path. Wow, Max Elite Path on Ascension 10. There are three elites total. They are all exclusive. Max Elite Path is one. That is exceedingly uncommon. Which means we just need to try and abuse the hell out of this floor to get as powerful as quickly as we can. Uh, there we go there. Then the other end hearts, the Crystal Shift. Uh, I'll see Crystal Shift. This just needs to give us some block. 
I don't like that being what it has been, sure. Uh, let's break the emerald for the point of dex. Upgrade the other piercing hide. Dane and Thorns. I think I want to hit more question marks than I do rest sites. So I'll actually veer off this way. Ancient Construct's pretty much always a very, very powerful one for us. Gaining point of dex being huge. Speaking thereof as well. Gaining point of dex. Allow ourselves to become frail, which... Hmm, maybe not the best I've ever thought. Sorry, the best thought I've ever thunked. Use the technical language. Ow. Can slam into piercing hide, piercing hide. Keep my 15 there. Curl up into piercing hide and defend as well. Come on. Emerald. Be second one to go in twin slam. Sure. Ooh. I kind of want to fight to take everything here. I may not actually want everything, but I do want to fight to take everything. Uh, I was really hoping I was going to get one of the one cost ones that have 10 brace on it. Ooh. I'm actually going to snack oil here too. Nice. Piercing hide's unfortunate there. The three cost on them, but... Oh, and it lost the other piercing hide. Oh, that sucks. That's real bad. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is bad. I'm going to hit him with the sentry. Keep him weak. Should have tried to do that earlier, I guess. And my ability to actually... Wow. It just... Both of my, my piercing hides are gone, and now this enemy just... Absolutely destroys me. So this goes back to the one. Uh, I need to find as much damage as I suddenly can. That's the way we're going to do it. Taste of Strike comes back with extra damage on it now. Our vulnerability got destroyed. Yeah, the thing we were relying on for vulnerability. Having my whole deck transformed here. Like, it's very flavorful, but... Oh, it hurt. Oh. Actually, is the hurt over? I don't think the hurt's over, right? 10, 10, 14, 21, 14, 21, 35, 10, 10, 55. All right. You're getting vulnerable. I'm doing it anyway. Unitank Strength, which we may end up saving that strength. Uh, Jax. Jax's damage dealt under our armor, so it actually start. It, it's effectively Brace, right? It's just we also have to pay the HP for it. Let's 
Strength isn't bad. I do want to transform all the cards in the deck first, though. I kind of actually want to transform the Twin Slay Mount right now. Body Slam? Deal damage equal to your block. Yeah, we need to pivot to go as, as defensive as we possibly can. So yeah, I'm actually getting the, the Twin Slam out of here now. Walker Claw, don't want that. Jax, don't want that. Piercing Hide again. Yes. Five Apparitions for 45 max HP. The thing is, like, the turns I can deal with are the opening turns. The turns I can't deal with are the later ones. So the apparitions protect me when I don't really need it, is the thing. Twenty-two block and brace thirty for even more block, and then we have a slam for a bunch of damage. That works out real well right there. Let's ancient power. Ooh, another floating orb. Don't really scale with that effectively, but still, I'll take it. We'll slam the back line. Keep the defense. Keep on defending. Now we're good. Okay, 13 block in defensive mode. So we'll get into defensive mode. And then we'll play the 13 block in defensive mode. And then body slam the enemy. Shield charge is not bad. Clone isn't bad here either. Clone for like a second copy of a really powerful card, like Piercing Whales or something like that. Piercing Whales, sorry, the uh, Piercing Shield. Piercing, Pierce, 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 Pierce. Uh, remove three cards from the deck, what would it be? I, d I do want to do this as well. I The thinner this deck gets, the better we are. Prismatic Barrier is actually like really hard to get value out of right now. You know what? Screw it. Uh, Emeralds. Yep. Prismatic Barrier and another... Uh, obviously the Warford Claw. You get a Regret there, which I'll remove as soon as possible too. Decker's Washes, three extra cards on turn one. Thank you, that'll help us set up on turn one a lot better. I, I am very much going to try and make this as defensive a deck as I possibly can, as I keep repeating. Uh, body Slam becoming zero cost. Pretty good, because I still don't have an Engine Relic. This fight's going to be rough. Uh, Maybe I clone a Compile pack. No, I probably cloned something that comes out of it. Like the Orb Walk. It's not a bad thing to clone out of that. Actually, the Ancient Constructs. I could prevent the enemy from even... Yeah, no, 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 let's do that. There we go. It gives me an artifact initially as well, so I don't even have to worry about the oncoming after that. Uh, and then do I want to start gaining thorns already? Really? Is that the play? Surely it's get another thorn generating card in the deck so that as I cycle through this deck and just keep playing them, I just keep getting more and more potent. What did I do? Oh, the artifact prevent the strength loss from the mutagenic strength. And then I got confused after that. Yeah, that's... Like, that's how it should happen. Yeah, oh, 100%. Uh, still sucks for me, though. <laughs> Not great, but good old raps over here. I'd love to play Stasis Engine here, but I cannot ignore gaining extra thorns. It is literally the way in which we win. This is my Adam Sandler in Uncut Gems moment. This is how I win. I know it was said, this is how I win. In the Don't worry, I saw it. I should play those. I was like, I'm not playing that piercing whale because I'm. Ah, oh, okay. So hmm, I guess I play none of the piercing whales. That was not the correct response there, Raps. All's well that ends well here, though. 
weak pot as well as stasis fields. Scaling defense over the course of a fight. Seems like the kind of card we want. Part package first. There's the sentry. Spheric shield's not bad here either, right? We have the, the body slam too. Sure. The clone body slam? I could just harden and body slam someone off the board. That's pretty good. Take six damage through regret. Yep. Well, five damage through regret. Obviously, one of it negated by the tungsten rod. Good old tungsten god up there. Clone a stasis field and then play each of those. And we even accelerate at the start of the turn. Love it. That forced acceleration at the start of each turn is going to end up with the two stasis fields providing a ridiculous amount of defense for us. Accelerate both. Accelerate both again. They both... Wait. Both. Oh, this one only accelerates the front card, right? Time sifter. No, accelerate. But Accelerate only ever accelerates the front guard. But at the start of every new turn, all of them get accelerated. Right? I've somehow forgotten how Accelerate works? Stasis. Yeah, okay. As a property of Stasis, they lose the count, right? It's Accelerators outside of that just forcing the first one. Got it. Got it. Everything is right with the world. I was just being a bit dumb. As is my God-given right. Hey, back of prep. Opening hands, literally 10 cards now. 10? Yeah, 10. Nice. Harden. Ooh, it's... It's so powerful. Yes, I have to take it. It's so powerful. Uh, I, I'd love the relic, but I don't want to include any more. Curses into the deck, thank you. We've done all of these before. Let's do Mastermind again. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's check if there's any Ironclads in this one. There is an Ironclad. Perfect. Uh, well, I mean, now that I know there's an Ironclad, right? I'm not going to get any information. If, well, I could get information, like 25% chance to get information about the positional of the Ironclad. Interesting. So there was an Ironclad in the correct position on the bottom line. There's nothing added to the second line, which means there is no silent, and it does mean the ironclad is in the first position, is correct. There's also no defect, and the ironclad is in the first position. Wow! There's also no uh, watcher in there. Ironclad triple crowbot. One of those crowbots is wrong. So, ironclad, double crowbot lock. We can put the lock in there, in there, in there. We have, like, enough space to just hard do this. Try it in the middle. And then we know exactly that it has to be ironclad, lock, crowbot, crowbot. Ooh, or a Calcum that'll never trigger. Love that. Hmm. Clone Body Slam. Have it ready for the next turn. Guaranteed. Sure. Oh, and then it accelerates immediately, so we gave it the, the, the free. Oh. Oh. 
I have to use sentry here. I, I, I simply don't have the energy to do anything else. Uh, we... Brace two with that, and then gain the 11 block, gain the more thorns. Our upcoming body slams are going to be quite potent. I was really hoping I would draw one this turn. I'm actually going to use the Gambler's Brew to cycle all of this. I get a potion at the end of every fight. Not this fight, but, you know, fights. You know, the fights that are actually fights. We're one off being able to use the curl up for the activation there. Okay, that was really good damage. Next time we fight them, we're probably going to be able to take them down. Sapphire. A gem that braces for three. That's pretty good. That could totally go into piercing hide. While in defensive mode, raise your dex by three is also really good. And it braces for ten. I'm take the evasive protocol there, actually. Don't use washes at the start of combat. Gain two energy and add a void to your draw pile. A void in the draw pile is a lot harder for us to deal with. However, two extra energy when I've got ten cards in my opening hand. Pretty good. Get the regret out of there. I would have loved to take the potion belt as well, but... Sadly, we are limited on money. Okay. Let's throw out an evasive protocol to begin with. Or by a piercing hide and then compile package. Nice, we got the sentries. With the sentries, we can get two more brace twos. Right, and then use the piercing hide, and then use the curl up. We can get a huge amount of damage out here. One, two, three. Piercing hide gets us into defensive mode. Curl up now gives us a bunch of damage there. Or rather, sorry, not, not damage, but... One, two, three, four, dead. One, <laughs> two, almost dead. Now dead. Armored Protocol, gain five block at the end of each turn while in defensive mode. No, no. We're not going to be in defensive mode uh, often enough for Armored Protocol to consistently generate. I don't want just all of it to be set up. I provide myself more block by just playing another defensive card. I'll drop the attack potion gain for a weak potion there, though. Happily. One... Do I now curl up? Or stasis field? I like stasis field. The downside there is that body slam and uh, clone were both left in the deck. It takes some void are really rough to draw into. Um, the body slam and clone were both available left in the deck. So if I'd cloned Body Slam, it would give me back the Stasis Field instead of giving me back the Body Slam already on that turn. It's the big downside with which we had to contend there. I don't think it was big enough for us to really worry about it. Uh, Incinerate's not bad here either, though. Use the Incinerate to get the Stasis Field back. Use the Stasis Field, getting extra damage. And kill our enemy. Well. Here's the same situation I was just talking about. We get the stasis field back instead of the body slam, but that's okay. We generate enough block, this ought to be fine. We need more brace. We definitely need more brace.
Not a pre-upgraded piercing hide. Yep. Yep. Ah, yes. This is the enemy that attacks me in that way. Uh, well, hmm. So, what a thing. So, hmm. My best play here might be something along the lines of just cloning the body slam and trying to go off as hard as possible. I really shouldn't have taken the Mutagenic Strength. Keeping the Strength gain is not something I'm almost ever interested in. Next cycle of the deck is going to be significantly better for us. I'm assuming they're still taking damage while they're hitting me here. Sh yeah, okay, they are still taking the damage. I should have just hit the target that I, you know, had seen the effects trigger on previously. Seems like that would have been the right way to go about it. Uh, let's compile this package this time. Spherix actually really good just for the... Well, I mean, the floating orbs are pretty good as well, right? Orb Slam gives us the ability to reveal the correct target. I need more cards that give things like Brace 10. Not powers. Defensive cards that do things like that as well. Actually revealing them there didn't really matter. It's going to take a long time to kill Meow with this build. That's why the body slams need to be in here. Definitely want to keep the speed potion, probably keeping that until the final fight. So tree. Yeah. Yes. I really want extra energy so I can actually afford to play the ancient power. I may have taken the, the Black Star where it offered last floor, and I would have regretted it when I saw only one elite. Hey, speaking of, there's only two elites on this floor that I can take in any line with each other. He is like a really good string of shops, but, you know. I'm, hmm, actually, if I save my money, I can use that exclusively for removals. I do have to recall, because I've, I've, I've got to spend my money on the, the breaks as well. Uh, it's going to be rough. Okay. Let's go with the Ancient Power of Revenge Protocol. On the defensive mode, raise your strength by two. Brace. Piercing Hide for free. Take the Spheric as well. Get ridiculously over-defended there. And then also, at the start of the next turn, we go back into defensive mode. Nice. No. I don't really want to clone unless I have the body slam in hand here, I think. I 
didn't put the orb slam in my hand there. It's okay though. Maybe we managed to get the kill assist. So you attack. It's not going to be enough. I was trying to get to enough thorns that I was going to be able to kill both of them on that turn. It's fine. It does look like this is very much going to wait for the turn that I have the two body slams. I say two body slams. Don't actually have two body slams left. There we go. Bop, bop. Fruit juice. Definitely take that over a skill pot. Repulsor. It's up against Aquamarine, though. <sighs> this is hard. Repulsor becomes very, 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 very important next floor. Have to take it. Don't really get a choice there, unfortunately. And hey, if I get it in the opening hand, it gives it the ability to prevent something like the uh, the days from triggering. Not half bad. Uh, let's... What a clone stasis field. I'm not even going to play the compile package this time. The idea behind this is that I just guarantee my defense. And then eventually all these enemies die regardless of what happens. I'll do the one that just gives us instantaneous thorns there. Put a lot of dazed in that draw pile, friend. And take it easy on my behalf. Would you like to attack ever? Otherwise, I'm going to have to bring it to you. And you do not want that. Extremely mismanaged turn right there. But we should be fine. Hey, calipers would be ridiculous in this build. We would never take damage. Would solve any available problems. Guardian Whirl, AoE damage, but you have to exit defensive mode in order to do it, which means that I don't get to retain my uh, retain my stuff to the next turn. Use 150 souls in order to get 10 max HP. That's not bad, but I just really need money right now so I can break all these gems. Receive a reward, basically. I could, I could get rid of Compile Package here, and I don't think I'd be sad about it. That's 10 max HP as well. Since I added the Repulsor to the deck, that becomes a lot easier for us to do. Let's loan the Body Slam. Good to me. So we still lose the energy to the void, unfortunately. Or at least we have an extra card in this hand, I guess. It's fine. You can affect my stats in that way. It's not be a problem for us. You know what will be a problem for us, though? The fact that I literally have no way of stopping you from doing that to me right now. Rough. 
Instant kill the turn after, though. Shield shot to Tourmaline. Incinerate. No, thank you on those. Repulse is going to be important here as well. In fact, I may even need to clone it. The enemy is going to put so many burns in my deck, and if we end up playing slowly, uh, that is to say as slowly as I think we will end up playing, uh, that's it's going to be kind of compulsory that we do it this way. I've done that. Now the enemy has the 21. Uh, defend that. Beautiful. Thank heck we did that. Like, this was already a pretty bad turn for this, uh, for us. Can you imagine? Just burns in that hand? Oof. This will be our easy kill. Beautiful. <sighs> War paint. Okay, I like that. I like that. Second evasive protocol. Five more decks whilst in defensive mode. Three upgraded. Yep. Holy smooths. I wish I could take that. Oh, I wish I could take it. So good. I'm fine with losing the strength, so I'll play those in that order. What a turn and a half right there. Oh, and the enemy's going to try and debuff me this turn. Uh, they're going to be able to be debuff me this turn, in fact. There we go. That got through. Let's see if anything else does ever. Apparently not. Temporal gambler. Amber? This is one of our last opportunities to really get and use a gem. Amber going in the other piercing hides, not bad. Yep. Uh, as for the gambler's brew, I think I should be okay. Use a base defender, yes. Chazzed about it, but... Gotta do what I gotta do. So I gotta make sure that I have 200 gold by the time we go in here still. Regardless of what happens in this fight. Trying to make sure that I maintain those thorns. Set myself up for a giant body slam as well. Good, we did get the body slam in the sand. How about thee? Considering the fact that we need body slam here, that, oh, whew, I was about to say, it's possible we actually don't even get this. Well, I had other upcoming fights, so I could swing and miss a couple times. 
Uh, definitely take Dex Pot. The second clone. Yep. Being able to choose which card I think is going to be the most impactful is huge. It's magnificent. Having the stasis field start in stasis, coming back to my hand in a turn's time or two turns time really depends on the accelerate plays. Mm, no, I'm actually feeling worse about that. Now, now that I talk about it out loud, I feel worse about it. Uh, I think I will just go back to the, the original plan. Break, break. Enhance our final card. Smith, one of our final cards as well. Stasis field, and then we'll also smith the uh, defensive mode later. Here's another removal for us. Yes. Yes. Uh, get a base defend out of the deck seems pretty good. Do I have anything now that I want to remove? I could remove another base defend. That's not bad, right? We got all the piercing hides and the, the stasis fields and the harden and stuff. We, we can we can supplement. All right, and we will. And so we will. Final opportunity to do something else. I ignore it. Oh! Wait, no, this is fine for us, right? Yeah, this is actually fine. Uh, piercing hide, piercing hide, piercing hide. Get that evasive protocol out of there. Get the repulse route too, and then body slam, get it back, body slam, get it back. Body slam, body slam, body slam. Keep as much defense as we can for the next turn, and then we just try and quickly get through the rest of our deck to the body slams again. That'll do it. Floating Orbs is fine. Also gets us some decent damage on the enemy. Trying to prevent any of their incoming. Harden's not great in this deck, actually. I may remove Harden next for if I get enough gold to do so. I'm just not in defensive mode enough for it. Like, So defensive mode, uh, every time you trigger it, you increase the amount you need to trigger the next one by 10. So they become real hard to reach. Gain 12 block. Gain 4 temporary thorns if you're in defensive mode. Otherwise, brace 8. Fifteen block, brace eight. I'd take that. Sure, I'd take that. I was asking for like a block card that just gives us a, a bunch of uh, brace, and then that turned up. That is exactly what I was asking for, is it not? Don't. Don't look at that horse gift. Just don't at all. It's scary. Really sad thing here is like the, the mutagen strength has locked off so, so many thorns from us. I, I'll know better in the future at least. I'm just gonna ignore the fortification. Turn accelerate. So that means stasis field comes back every single turn. There's a better play here. 
We clone the time sifter. It comes back into hand immediate. Wait, no, it doesn't. No, it does because it, it was generated with a lower cost rather than lower cost until played. So it comes back into hand instantaneously. We play both time sifters. We play the stasis field. Next turn, we get the stasis field back. We clone that stasis field. We get two stasis fields up there and two time sifters. Well, this gives us an energy, so we do just play that anyway. And here's our scaling defense. Ooh, we can even accelerate that out. Hell yeah. Get the energy back and stasis field, stasis field. This enemy's not going to multi-hit us or anything like that. I shouldn't focus on grinding my thorns. Like, I've got two different game plans in this deck, basically, right? Like, I've got grow my thorns, and I've got don't grow my thorns. Instead, just gain a giant amount of block and then hit him with the, bo uh, the body slam. Uh, brace 8, get in the defensive mode there. Hit him with the double stasis field and body, body, body slam. Oof. Fortification gave a giant amount of defense there. Maybe I ought to look into taking it out. Yeah, I think I will. A lot of damage the enemy's proposing right now. Feels like I may need to use my speed potion in this fight. I don't like it. I don't like it, but I think I have to. Two. Three for the giant hit, then we get the... Better one up there. As much as I want to attack the ironclad there. Just from... I mean, they, I need to remove that anyway, eventually. Okay, this is our turn for killing the fortification in the front line, I think. Gain? Well, actually, no, it's not, because we don't even have the ability to right now. Oh. So that makes it this turn we have to do it. Repulsor doesn't hit anything here. Shield spikes. Stasis, stasis, and then... Destroy the front line. Now you've got your five strength. Fine. Wait, at the start of... Okay, so that's not just five strength. That's uh, five strength, and then it's five strength, and then it's five strength, and then it's five strength, and then it's... Best believe that's five strength. Uh... Thank heck we've got the scaling defense of those shields there. If I hadn't have done that early play, getting both the stasis fields uh, consistently active and uh, both growing, we 100% would have lost that fight. That enemy, like, sitting there and turtling up and doing individual large hits is, like, the worst thing we can encounter. It's going to be really, really, really uh, crucial that we set ourselves up correctly in the pre now fight, specifically because we have to fight that again. This one ought not be that bad, though. Let's go, like... Evasive, evasive. 
temporary thorns, artifacts, and then gain temporary thorns. This enemy doesn't really use multi attacks. To their own detriment. Shield Spikes wants an upgrade pretty badly. It's clone piercing hide, piercing hide, piercing hide, repulsive. Just get them. Uh. Find our shield spike at the end of that. Just get him out there on the field. This one's going to be a clone body slam. We need to go faster. And then we have the... I don't want to put... The... Well, I mean, I may as well put the stasis field up there and accelerate it if I have the ability to. It's not going to impact anything else. and artifacts we eight and then 13 we can actually get into defensive mode here this is whether or not we can do anything after that i think we do need to do anything after that uh, get accelerate Keep all of those. Hit, hit. And the enemy's trip occurred earlier than mine. Hmm. Uh, uh, yeah, this is going to get worse as time goes on. Like, just a lot worse. The enemy hitting us constantly with a weak so that we don't really have the ability to artifact the things that we would like to artifact is, uh, is incredibly effective. It's doing well for them. Ow. God, another bomb. Please stop with all the bombs. I can't survive all of those. So as far as I'm concerned, that makes them illegal. Die. Whew. Mummified hand. Whenever the power card, a random card in hand costs zero for the rest of the turn. That's great. An onyx that I do not have anything to slot it into, unfortunately. Real rough. Uh, ancient power. I'll take that just because I got the mummified hand. Amber. Nothing to put that in. Priming shot. Don't want to do that. Shield charger. Fine, but don't want to do it. Uh, any of those potions? Not really what I want. All right. Keep on moving. Shield spikes gets an upgrade. This fight's going to be really rough. Next fight's going to be also extremely rough i i i would not wager in my own favor right now hmm. i think i can use the second body slam here i think it'll even be important to Uh, why'd you have to ruin the perfect amount of defense? Uh, happily play all of those for free.
I don't think stasis engine's a core part of this. Oof. You're already doing that much damage? Oof. Extremely oof. all the damage I would have liked to do, but if that's all the damage I can do, that's all the damage I will do. Alright, watch her. The last clone, I mean, look, Body Slam is basically the only target left for it in the deck, I think. Unless I wanted to wait for the stasis field to come back, and I do not... I still had to make sure that I got the artifact on that turn rather than putting Stasis Field back up, such that I would uh, keep the nine thorns we just lost there. Did I lose the nine thorns anyway? Where's my debuff being used? Um... Nothing really I get to do about either of those. I'd like to go into the fight with the Ironclad with as much defense as possible. That would put us in a reasonable position, I think. So, nothing from the enemy hit me, and then... Okay, the enemy... The Meow's debuff is being prevented. That might have been what happened previously, I just missed it. Uh... Stasis field, and then try and activate it. It's pretty good. On, and then try and find a target. We won the 50-50 enough times that it's fine. This, this happens. Unfortunately, we aren't in defensive mode, so we're not going to keep a large amount of defense going into this combat. This is going to be rough. Uh, I kind of want to even throw out the shield spikes, literally just get as close to our next barricade as I can. Oh, and also, it's uh, totally fine to do this turn. We have to get the fortification down. I'm not weakened, but I also don't get to keep my thorns. Then, I guess, curl up Piercing Hide, get the Shield Spikes to actually keep Thorns there. Enemy hits me for a giant amount of damage, but at least takes some back. Lowering their barricade just a little. Had to use both on the front line to actually kill them there. Missing hide into... Again, we just play all of these, and their order does not impact one another. Again, the order has no impact here, so we just get to go, go, go. That is, you know, until turn 40 where the enemy just hits me for a billion damage with no armor. Oh. 
We're working our way there, but I think I'm working them down faster. Thankfully, we've been getting a body slam in every single hand so far. Still 50 damage. Oof. Oof. There's a double body slam. I think this is our turn. My ironclad. God, our health isn't good going to this final fight either. All right, so we're going to definitely use the dex potion at the very start of the fight. That much is certain. Uh, God of Life, as they always have. Uh, heals to HP whenever we play a card. Unbridled Rage at the end of round, if they're 50% or below HP. The end of round, if they're below 50% HP, she gains 6 rank. Ah, but can only trigger once per combat. Makes sense. Uh, oh. Seeing double. The first attack used against Meow each turn deals zero damage. We're going to need multiple body slams and we're going to need them quick. Or an Orb Slam. Orb Slam would also work. All right, let's Ancient Power, Time Capacitor. I can't just clone the Ancient Power looking for Orb Slam. Uh, like, if I whiff on that, and it's quite likely I whiff on that, if I end up whiffing on that, I just don't get anything. And that's not good. Construction hmm. form. If you're going to buffer if at the start of the turn you have buffer game strength. No, it doesn't matter how much strength I gain if I don't have the ability to hit the enemy for any damage. Uh, we'll play time capacity. Ooh, construction form is now zero cost too. Me. Harden zero cost. That's the basic protocols, but zero cost too. Uh, that may clone zero cost. Play the other evasive protocol too. Missing hide. Hmm. Oh, we piercing hide, harden, and then clone the clone to put a clone in our next hand. So we have the ability to hit. Uh, oh, right, the enemy diluted our deck. So we have the possibility of hitting body slam. Okay, we did not hit Body Slam. That's okay. Uh, our upcoming hands are pretty cursed, though. That clone shouldn't hit anything. Thankfully, it's not ethereal. That would be the worst. Repulsor into Icky and then burn that. Pass that over. Body Slam's still left in there. We could still find the... Uh, the, the Correct thing with that. Yep. That's what I meant to say. Correct thing. Stasis fields? It's also not... Well, I do want to build stasis fields as soon as possible, right? So yeah, we should focus on having that played. We want that to scale as soon as is possible for us to do so. Uh... Shield spikes, body slam floored, I guess. Yeah, because these are all ethereal now. So I don't want to even play the Iki. I want to just let it burn itself. And honestly, losing Harden out of this deck, not a bad thing. In fact, I might even call it a good thing instead. Uh, yes, the old piercing hide hand. Let's get Stasis Field up there and then Accelerate. Gain the energy and then Thorns and Thorns. We're getting a good amount of Thorns here as well, but... I don't think... Based on the, the fact this enemy actually does have scaling, uh, I don't think any amount of Thorns is going to be enough. <laughs> I think this is very much a body slam or lose kind of situation for us. Let's clone 
on the body slam. There's another clone left in the deck as well. Good. Good verging on essential. They're both ethereal as well. We need to get that in mind. Huh? Huh? Hang on. That, hmm? Excuse me? First attack, use each turn against Nyao, deal zero damage. What other attacks did I use that turn? Does it count my... Yeah, it's counting It's counting my thorns hits. Oh, okay. That's going to make this a whole lot less terrifying. Thank heck. That's not a theory. Okay, it's not a theory. Good. There we go. Ah, uh, nice. We gain the energy. Block, shield slam, and then boom, boom. Just huge damage when we take him down with the thorns. Hell yeah. What was that? Three, four turns? Five turns? Six, seven, eight, eight, 12 turns? 12 turns? That's quick for this deck. Whew. Hey, that's also our uh, Ascension 11 unlock here on the Guardian, which does mean until we start playing classes consistently in order to climb some of the rest of the uh, the Ascensions. I'm, I'm hoping to go all the way to 20, but we'll see how long that ends up taking the series to and whether or not there are other games at the time and things like... I don't want to hard commit to that, but I, I can probably hard commit to a 15. Uh, that said... For the moment, my name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Slay the Spire. There's uh, Downfall specifically. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves. So we'll play this in the description down below with all my content of the game past, present, and future. And hopefully we'll see you next time.